Okay, um, I wanted to uh, make a short video, tell you guys about how to use these boards um, real quickly, um, just to get you up to speed really fast. Um, let me show you what I've given you. Um, this here is the base board or the main board because it has the microcontroller on it. It's that black chip. Um, on the top here it's got a power connector and that's how you power it and that's done basically by taking the connector on the 9 volt battery and plugging it in such that the silver side is out and plugging the two pins in like this okay so this is powered on although there's nothing it won't do anything because it doesn't have anything attached um, well, um, we'll show you how to do that in just a second. But um, this is your baseboard. It's the only one that doesn't have the pins at the bottom, and but it does accept the pins. So that's how you can tell it's the baseboard. Okay. Now these other four boards I've given you go into the baseboard. Okay. And the most important one is this one here on the left this is the communication board and you can tell that because it's got the USB connector okay and um, basically all these boards will plug in the same way and that one side will be colored silver and you just have to match up the sides that are colored silver and that's how they can be plugged in together so for the communication board it would be simply plugging in the, the six like this and that's basically how it needs to look and this is what it looks like when you're ready to program it and basically it's just um, a matter of at the appropriate time plugging in the uh, mini USB cable very simple um, once it's programmed you will take off the communications board and put on one of the other boards in order for it to do something. Um, this one has six green LEDs. This one has an RGB or a multicolored LED and a couple of buttons so I can do some things. And this is a board that has a, a buzzer, a couple of buttons, and um, a temperature and light sensor. Um, so, I have several programs that can use all these boards to do different things. Um, so let me show you how to program them real quick. And I apologize, this is just kind of impromptu, but this is how it's done. Um, basically, you start off with your communication board plugged into your baseboard. Okay. And like that. Okay, now it's ready to be programmed. Let's go to the computer. I apologize for this, but it'll be kind of crude. Um, basically what you need to do is on the software I gave you, there's a directory called Arduino, and you'll want to run this exe here. And let me run it. And the two things you need to check are under the tools menu that need to check to make sure the board is Digispark Teeny Core and the programmer is Digispark. Those are the only thing, two things you need to check to make sure are set. Otherwise, you can open up under examples, sketchbook, fidget examples, and notice I have the programs broken out depending on which board it needs in order to run. So let's go ahead and pick um, the RGB button board and pick the rainbow program. And here it is opened up. And I will go ahead and do a file upload. And down here, it'll compile a sketch and it'll say you're running DigiSpark uploader plug-in device now. So let me go back to here. And you have 60 seconds to do this, so you have plenty of time. 
but basically um, you just plug it in like this and you should hear a beep as being recognized and the software should change to read um, micronucleus done thank you I hope you can read that and that me, basically means it's programmed so how do you see it running well basically let's we unplug it okay and since we picked an RGB program we'll use the RGB board I'll plug that in and power it up and it starts the RGB program it's a rainbow program it'll change color slowly and it's very bright but um, um, we'll let it run for just a couple of seconds and then what we'll do is we'll change the program and put in a program for the this LED board okay so there's changing colors on you let's let's change the program okay so let me remove RG button board put on the COM board communication board okay don't plug it in yet go up to here and let's go to let's open another example examples let's use the POV board which is all the LEDs and let's do the tester program so we do the tester program and let's hit file upload it'll say running waiting to upload plug-in device go back here we'll plug in the device change to say thank you. So I'll unplug it. Take off the communication board. Put on the LED board. And plug in power. And there you go. It's running a different program. Um, that's basically all there is to it. I'll have more and more programs as I figure, think of more things to do with the the boards I have. But these are what I have to start with, so they'll be fun to play with. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to get these running and um, won't have a problem. I'll talk to you later.